guys, Erin and Dusty here at Eat, Move, Rest, and welcome back. Welcome to the channel. We are addressing what I hate to admit is our number one question, <laughs> and that is how do you whiten your teeth? And while our answer used to be plain and simple, name brand that shall not be mentioned, white strips, <laughs> as well as fluoride toothpaste and all the other chemicals, it's not like that anymore. Nope, like our diet, we have gone all natural with our oral health, and we are going to share our seven tips for naturally whitening your teeth. And on top of that, we will be sharing our DIY toothpaste recipe. It's only got two, maybe three ingredients yep. that we use without fail day and night. Okay, so number one, if you follow us on Instagram, you have no doubt seen these seen this on our stories. I know I've had it on my stories multiple <laughs> times. It's oil pulling. So we get a bunch of questions. What on earth is oil pulling? Well, it's simple. You take a teaspoon or tablespoon, depending on how brave you are, <laughs> scoop it into your mouth first thing in the morning before you drink any water, before you eat any food, and you swish it around. If it's solid, it'll melt in there. Swish it around for 20 minutes, go about your day. And this literally has not just helped to whiten our teeth, but has made our overall oral health better. Our dentist, after what, a couple of years of oil pulling, literally asked Aaron and I both, what are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> I used to be cavity prone. Literally every time I would go in for a checkup and a cleaning, I'd have to come back yep. to inevitably get a cavity or two or three filled. And right. I did not like the procedure that that <laughs> involved at all. <laughs> so I was prescribed a fluoride toothpaste. It wasn't crazy about that. Didn't use it. Decided to do my own way and oil pulling was the solution. It worked. We've stuck with it for about five years now and we've been cavity free since then. Yep. Number two, is pretty much a given and it is brush and floss regularly. So Dusty and I both have these electric toothbrushes that we use at home which are incredible. Highly recommend getting one of those. And floss. Floss is something that most of us neglect, at least I used to, which is something that probably also contributed to my cavities. But now I don't leave home without one of these pick flossers in my purse. And at home, I use this dental floss that is infused with all natural essential oils. Floss up between your meals. Number three, and that is drink lots of water. So we like to start every morning with 32 ounces of fresh <clears throat> filtered water before we eat anything. Yep. And it's a great way to kickstart your digestive system and it's also really cleansing for your palate. <laughs> Number four, avoid staining products <laughs> such as coffee and tea. Yes. Tea is usually gonna be a better option than coffee, but either way, anything that looks like dirty brown water is probably going to turn your teeth a not so pretty color. <laughs> right, and I don't even think we need to mention smoking because we know nobody that watches our channel smokes. <laughs> okay, number five is eat your veggies. So, and fruits. And fruits, <laughs> and greens, all of the above. These foods are good for vitamin C, and calcium, all things that are good for your teeth, but most importantly, they're crunchy and they clean your teeth. So top pick would be an apple as a fruit or a carrot as a veggie. She gave me the dirty carrot. She gets to eat the <laughs> apple. They're also great to clean your pet's teeth. In fact, carrots are Bo's favorite treat. Totally. <laughs> Come here, bud. Shake. Good boy. Tip number six, make your own toothpaste using our DIY two to three ingredient toothpaste. All you're going to need is some coconut oil, some baking soda, and optionally, you can also use some essential oils of your choice. You will need a third cup of baking soda and about three tablespoons of coconut oil. Go ahead and mix your ingredients and mash them together until they're one even and smooth consistency. Trust the process, the coconut oil will begin to warm and soften up. If you need to, you can always add just a touch more. Last step is to use an eco-friendly glass mason jar and press your homemade toothpaste into the jar. Your optional third ingredient, like I said, would be your essential oils. Something minty is going to be the best. So we like peppermint, spearmint, and wintergreen. And while you can mix it directly into your recipe, we find that it gives you a much more intense flavor if you drop it directly onto your toothbrush with your paste. So number seven, our ultimate whitening and brightening secret is to brush with just baking soda. 
Now, it is a little bit abrasive and <laughs> it can taste a little intense if you're not used to it. Yep. So proceed with caution. Don't do this every day. We no. do it maybe about once a week. And like Aaron said, it's a little abrasive, it's kind of salty, but if you can do it once or twice a week, we promise this will remove all the gunk and junk that's on there that you don't want leaving your shiny pearly whites. If you guys are into videos like this, give it a big old thumbs up, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to join us here at the Eat, Move, Rest headquarters, yep. and make sure you've got that bell click to turn on your notifications. As always, share the video with friends, family, and follow Aaron and I on all forms of social media at DB Stanzik and at Aaron Stanzik. Leave us some love in the comments and be sure to show us your whiter and brighter smiles on Instagram and tag Eat, Move, Rest. Yes. <laughs> Eat, Move, and Rest, your best. Bye, guys. Mm-hmm.